Good morning, YouTube. Runa here. And today, it's Wednesday morning, to be exact. On Tuesday nights, there's this particular spirit that I like to work with. And I like to work with him on this night because he works well with Mars energy. And I happen to be very fond of him. This particular spirit, as you can see in the title, is Belial. And I would like to start talking about some of the spirits that I work with on here. It's a way to help you get to know some of them from someone else's perspective. I know there are plenty of videos on him in particular. A lot of people work with him. A lot of people have reported a lot of different things. He is... I guess you could say a little bit unpredictable with how he's going to react to you. But I love him. He's great, honestly. And this is going to be the first of many videos I make on him. But I just want to start by, I guess, giving you a rundown of how he is with me. Belial is, is awesome, for one. He takes no shit. Everyone will tell you that, I bet. He takes absolutely no shit. He is very much, what do you want? Don't waste my time. Do not disrespect me, or else I will blow smoke right up your ass. <laughs> he sometimes is not the most compassionate at times. He's very much tough love. But he, if you put him on the job for something, he will do it. He will get it done. And I've heard it said before this way too, if that's a transformative sort of a thing for yourself, it's like it was for me, it's going to be the challenge. <laughs> it's better to go with him than to fight him because change is hard. But either way, he will get it done. It'll be easier for you to go with him. But that's not always the case, you know, because people are people. We don't like to change. <laughs> so... I guess we'll talk about how I started to work with him. I started working with him on uh, Beltane of this year. And I know he had been calling for me for a while. And I had just, I hadn't really known what to expect. I didn't really know what to go about doing with him until I, I started really noticing some things in myself that needed changing. So, the first entity that came to mind to work with on this and to really get it done was him. So, I took the liberty of contacting him on one of the most powerful nights that I could think of in that time. It was a really, really good big full moon that night. It was powerful. And I got to do it outside, which... I like the warmer months for that reason. I get to do rituals outside. It's hard doing it in a tight-knit community. They still get away with it. So far, I haven't had anyone walk in or, um, one of my rituals outside. I've had it happen before inside. Well, actually, no, that's not entirely true. I had it happen once, but that was a while ago, a long while ago, and uh, had nothing to do with demons. I should story time about that. <laughs> Times I've been walked in on. Awkward. <laughs> but, um, it was powerful. And I knew I liked his energy. His energy seemed very much well meshing with mine. I can't talk, <laughs> but it seemed to mesh well with mine. There we go. And 
I liked it. I've heard people say that his energy and he himself is very enticing and beguiling to women. And I will say he is right. The, they, the people who say this are right. He, she, whoever also have said, has said this. I can't talk, you see? Tongue tied. <laughs> but um, he is very cut and dry. He's a no bullshit kind of a spirit. Now, I'm not that old. I wouldn't say I've been doing this my whole life. I wouldn't say I'm, I'm especially a beginner, but I'm still learning certain things. And I, I've been a witch for a while now, and I've been working with demons for a little while now, and I wouldn't call myself a noob. But um, as for being friendly with beginners, I think he's a great transformative force. I'm not sure how much I would recommend him as a first spirit evocation for people who are unfamiliar with demons. I would probably recommend someone a little bit more patient, a little less hot-headed, in that means. A little more tolerant of beginner mistakes and such. From what I've noticed, he seems to relax more as you get to know him better, but he always still remains very um very rough and dominating in the way his energy feels which i don't mind so i also want to say that it's unpredictable of how he will see you as a person that differs from magician to magician i know of some people who he is like their best friend their patron I know of some people who have had falling out with him. I know of some people is like, all right, it's no business, no bullshit. We're just business partners, and okay, we're gonna get this done. And I'm, I'm gonna get out of here. I'm not your friend. We're just working together. So, like hearing this and knowing this, and approaching him, I kept myself reserved for a while, and. Um, I didn't want to seem like overly buddy-buddy or anything <laughs> until I kind of started to get that from him or he started to show me that he felt more toward me than just a business partner. Now, I wondered if he did since he was calling me first, but um, yeah, I can be reserved at times. <laughs> so... That's how I treated it for about the first month until he started really showing me that, hey, I'm actually here for you. And I will actually share what that experience was in another video. I might record it right after this. It depends. Kind of tired. Like I said, I had a ritual late at night and kind of tired. <laughs> So uh, we'll see. So yeah, how long this video takes to upload. But he he did something for me that he didn't have to do it, and it really really surprised me. It it floored me, and it solidified how I feel about demons in particular even more. And I should do a video on that as well. On how I feel about demons truly and my experience with them overall. I should do that. I should have probably done that first. You know what? Oh well. You know what? I am chaotic. I'm a Gemini. So I'm all over the place. <laughs> People say that Libras are perfect with Geminis a lot. I've known three Libras. All have had romantic interest toward me. Well, I know more than that, but some of them are family, so... Eh. But I'm talking other people. <laughs> and all three of them turned out to be crazy as fuck. <laughs> Ooh. So I, I think I'm gonna stay away from Libras for a while. But anyway... <laughs> 
back to the topic at hand. I think that he's a wonderful spirit. And I think that anyone who works with him will benefit deeply. My word of advice, be respectful. Always be respectful. Approach him as if you're approaching an equal. Do not bow or anything and do not try to condescend. He don't fuck with all that. Don't do that. Please, don't do that. Don't do that to any demon, but please don't do that to him. He's got a temper, okay? Don't do that. <laughs> um, I think there, there are probably demons with worse tempers than him, but I know he does have a temper. There are people in my life that he really does not like. <laughs> and it's very apparent that he does not like them. And I'm happy I'm not one of those people. <laughs> I will say he is a dominating and um, we're going to say hot in the means of hot headedness kind of a spirit. But he is an amazing ally to have. He's a wonderful teacher. He will, he will get shit done. He gets shit done. Put him on the job and he will get it done if he has agreed to it. Do not order him around. And uh, yeah, I think you'd I think you'd be good. But I'm just I'm happy. I had a really good ritual, and I wanted to talk about him. But yeah. Is there anything else I want to add for this video? I don't think so. Okay, because there's a couple stories I'd like to tell about my uh, experiences and testimonials of working with him that have absolutely done amazing things in my life. So, all right, more videos to come. Check the links in the description if you're interested in more things, uh, anything like spiritual services, readings, or anything of the sort. If you have questions, my email is down there. Go on ahead at the Black Flame Cauldron at gmail.com or leave it in the comments and I will get back to it. Um, go like the Facebook page if you would, even if you don't want anything right now, that'd be nice. Spread the word, tell your friends, you do readings for reasonable prices and other things. And yeah, uh, partner's channel coming soon. So you can see my partner in crime here and yeah. Blessings to you and to all a good day.